Hello, kiddies. Welcome back to Creepy Nibs, or welcome to Creepy Nibs, if this is your first experience with me, Count Chocula. Today, we are doing a little updaty daty thingy on the Wingsung 3009, because, um, yeah, I've been using them for a little bit. So I've, I've learned some more stuff about them. So, um, but the main reason is this guy. This is one with an extra fine nib that I have modded into a food day. You see that? Yeah, I did that. Me, all me. I did that myself. Um... I don't have a, like, a video tutorial on turning a normal fountain pen nib into a fude nib. Um, but I will explain to you what I did. So, uh, in the basement there is a, a little vice. Grip doodly dead ed. I don't know. I think it's just called a vice. Or a vise. Anyway. Um, so I took a piece of HP 32 pound premium laser jet paper and, uh, folded that a few times, put the nib straight down in that, and then, um, made sure it was held really tight, and then I just, boop, um, and that was that. It was bent. Uh, afterwards I took some micromesh to it, um, I... I don't know if you could tell. Maybe it would help if I actually showed a pen that has not been modded in any way whatsoever. But I, uh... I filed the feed down a considerable amount so that it wouldn't drag across the paper. Because I, I think I went a little bit too far in the... Um, put the nib in too far into the device, um, so it bent at a different angle than I was expecting. So yeah, I, like, went to town on this with micromesh so that it would be smoother and easier to write with, and now I like it a lot. It's really, really good. So, this one goes to this one. I'm going to try and make this as short as possible, so I'm just going to... Wait, no, no, there's something I wanted to talk about first. In my uh, unboxing first impressions review thingy, um, uh, I believe I was demoing it with this pen when I said, oh, it posts, but it, I mean, it doesn't really. But um, this is the only one I have this problem with, where, like, it will not stay on the end. Um, however with this one, and I'm pretty sure with all the other ones, it does post securely. I don't recommend it because you're doing it right on that ring, and then if you, like, turn it, it'll untwist it, and then you could have a pretty friggin' horrible mess on your hands. And table, and any other objects in the near vicinity. So I wanted to just clarify that. Um, some of them post, some of them don't. I don't understand what that is. Um, probably just shoddy QC. But, whatever. If you're paying $2 for a pen, you gotta give fewer fucks. Um, so I'll zoom this teensy bit. Sorry about that. Um, so, ink is noodlers. Not noodlers. What the fuck am I talking about? Diamine. Golden brown. I wrote that too high. So, if I hold it pretty vertical, really thin line, really nice and fine. But, if I reverse it, yeah, this is incredibly fine. And it's not really scratchy, as you would expect for something that produces a line this fine. 
Um, it's a little drier than it is on, you know, like that. But it's actually scratchier like that than it is like this. Like, yeah, that's really nice. And it's pretty consistent from what I've experienced. And yeah, um, I really like that. So I'll go a little bit lower, a little lower, a little lower, a little lower, and all the way down where it doesn't touch anything. So, uh, and then side strokes, reverse, it's the same line width. Um, that one, it looks a lot more like the reverse. Um, sorry. A little bit lower like that, a little lower like that, a little lower like that. A little lower like that, and a little lower like that. It slays down a nice patch of ink. It's not super wet, but I guess that's kind of a good thing. You'll get a lot more shading that way. Because look at the shading in that. That's friggin' amazing. Um, so that's that. I will compare it with uh, the other food I nib I have currently inked, um, which puts down a way broader line except for in the side strokes. Yeah. This is a Jinhao X750 with a food in it, by the way. And I still can't get this to reverse right consistently. Probably because of the glitter. Anyway, um, so that's that. I will write with it with a standard extra fine nib that I haven't done anything with. Um, and this puts out a broader line than it does in the food day, probably because I did so much stuff to it that it's it just writes finer now. Uh, this is uh, Organic Studio Nitrogen Royal Blue, so I'm not getting this pen back. That's going to be blue forever. Um, and this is the regular fine nib that I put in a Lamy Safari. Lamy cartridge, Lamy blue, which I like a lot more than I thought I was going to, so that's a thing. Um, yeah, also, I friggin' love this brush pen. This is, this is fantastico. Um, so just a quick little update, or not as quick as I intended it to be, but quicker than my normal video length, so I guess that's a good thing. Um, so yeah, just wanted to talk about that a little bit. Also, if you're doing the Food A mod, don't use pliers. Just don't, don't, don't try. Unless, I don't know, your pliers are more in line with a vice than with regular pliers. Um, yeah, it'll, it'll spread the tines out. It'll bend, but it, it'll open up the tines and it's, incredibly difficult to get them back together and that's how I ended up royally fucking up my Ahab nib so that's that's that um, and it did take a lot of smoothing to get this to write really nice while it's bent but now that I did smooth it it is super smooth very consistent no problemo good time I would recommend doing this um, because that's what I got these pens for because I heard their nibs are like super soft and I realized that um, by soft I don't mean like try to flex it or anything you'll just spring the tines or bend the nib back or something like that because this is super cheap really thin steel um, so there we go there's these that's 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 pretty much all I really wanted to talk about at the moment so I hope you have fun with whatever you do today, and um, I hope you don't die alone. All right, bye-bye.